Hello viewers, thank you for joining me. I knew by the time I was about halfway through this series that this would only be a mini-review. I just didn't have that much to say about it. But I so rarely watch anything current as it's airing, how could I not talk about it at all? And this means, of course, that there will be another video later in the month. Otaku Elf is the story of Koito, the newly official shrine maiden of Takamimi Shrine, and Elda, the elf who was summoned to this realm roughly 400 years ago to be this shrine's goddess. But even aside from having no divine powers, there's not much about her that seems worshipping. She's hard to distinguish from any other modern-day otaku, really. Her days consist of staying up late into the night watching anime, and then spending all her money on snacks and merchandise. She'd be a total social recluse if not for Koito, who usually has to drag her out of her room to perform her rituals and meet with her parishioners. I had some ups and downs with this show. Elda and Koito make for a great pair. They fit together really well. Elda's generally childish and immature, but she has moments of quiet wisdom to remind you that she's seen a lot in her 600 years. And while it usually falls to Koito to be the responsible one, she is only 16 and tends to look most like a kid when she's doing her best to seem like a sophisticated adult. They balance each other. Their friendship throughout is a mark in this show's favor. And yet, it wasn't all that I wanted it to be. It wasn't all that I felt the summary promised it would be. It had sounded like there was going to be more of a focus on getting Elda out into the world more, interacting with her parishioners, and giving Koito a better appreciation of why they love her so much. And there can be no doubt that she is well-loved. I've already expressed my doubt at her worthiness of being considered a goddess, but I can't deny there's something endearing about her. And we do see a few moments where she's forced outside, usually thanks to some ritual, but I would have liked to see more interactions with the townspeople, more personal stories that gave the few we do meet some deeper connection to the shrine and their goddess. The majority of the series is spent on the kind of daily life mini-plot lines that I like to describe as cute, but inconsequential. There's no real character growth to be seen. You know me, always looking for something deeper. I think it only started to bother me a bit because the show had a way of teasing those deeper moments, but every time we'd get close, Koito had a way of brushing the moment off with a grace that was honestly kind of a letdown. For example, she befriends another young shrine maiden visiting with her own elf goddess, and just as they're getting ready to depart, the other girl suddenly asks, do you think it's worth getting close to them when our lives are so short compared to theirs? Do you think that friendship will just cause them pain in the long run? And Koito thinks about it for a moment before answering that of course it's worth it. But I couldn't help being a little hung up on that. Like, really? You're gonna drop something that heavy into the last 60 seconds of the episode and then just not talk about it? Also, Koito's mother was the previous Shrine Maiden, but she died when Koito was young. More than once, we see examples of how Elda's like this missing link between the two, but it never quite builds up to the sort of emotional, moving moment I was hoping for. So the character stories weren't all that they could have been, and I'm inclined to feel that loss when I see the foundation for something deeper. But Otaku Elf does have a lot of merit from an educational, historical standpoint. Each of those mini plot lines led to some short lesson on how things were done in ancient times. Everything from the origins of some of these shrine rituals, to how mail used to get delivered, to umbrellas. And that was interesting. Another high point was the music. I really liked both the opening and the ending. The ending, because it was just really mellow and pretty, and the opening had this kind of folksy, traditional beat that really suited the show. So by no means was Otaku Elf bad. It wasn't quite what I wanted it to be, but if you're looking for something quick and lighthearted, this one might be for you. Thank you for watching. <laughs>